and welcome dreamer to another episode of our channel here we grow another wednesday another new brand new episode in our channel where i will present a few more keto friendly or keto certified items in the previous uh, video i was uh, showing um a protein bars which uh, were keto friendly with the sign keto certified so um, if you want to check my recommendation for that you can uh, click on the link uh, here and for today's video i'm gonna present something that it's not sweet i want to go something not sweet so i decide to present bread i found two different companies who are doing uh, keto bread. What was interesting for me is that the same company I found on two different places and uh, it's the same company but different bread. So the first I will present this. This one I found in uh, Whole Foods. So the brand name is actually I don't know what is the name of this company Carbonat something I don't know probably Carbonat Co. Yes, on this bag it says Carbonat Co. So the blue bag I found it at Whole Foods. The purple one I found it at Costco. So. I'll do first this. So like I said, it's the same company. So this is white bread. And uh, on the packaging, it says only one uh, gram of net carbs per slice. So again, one gram of carbs per slice. So per slice. <laughs> Not the whole bread. So you, you're the one who will decide how much of this you will eat. Calculate your carbs. Like if you are doing very strict keto, you need to be careful how many uh, in the day you are entering in your body. So it says um, gluten-free, uh, keto certified. So that has the sign keto certified. Okay, let's see the back of the packaging because that's the thing that we want to know. Like I said, uh, the point of these uh, videos is uh, to save your time when you're going in a, a supermarket. Instead of you reading the labels in the back, I'm uh, finding uh, random products that have signed uh, keto certified or keto friendly or even if they don't have uh any sign that it's keto and i think that it's keto i will put here on this channel so i will make your way to the supermarket much more easier okay so on the blue bag the one that i found at whole foods i need to say that it was frozen that's one thing that i need to mention uh so it says that uh, total carbohydrates it's 15 grams and dietary fiber it's 14 grams zero grams of sugar so that really makes one gram uh, of total net carbs uh, again per serving size and serving size for the in this case it's just one slice which is around 34 grams it says on this packaging the ingredients are uh, modified resistant tapioca starch, uh, high oleic sunflower oil, native corn starch, psyllium, chicory root fiber, yeast, modified cellulose, coconut sugar, rice bran, xanthan gum, natural flavor, and salt. Xanthan gum is also um, it's uh, it's not a sweetener, but it might be used as a, like a sweet taste. And usually xanthan gum it's used uh, in the keto products to make uh, the thing um, 
to keep it together. So it's like a kind of like baking powder. I I think I'm not uh, making a mistake about this, but I know that they're using to, to hold all the ingredients together, uh, which we need when we are doing bread, right? Uh, so again, those are the things that uh, most of them, they're not really keto, but probably um, the amount of uh, those things are okay. One slice. Again, one slice is the serving size and has one net carbs. Just be careful, like if you're allergic on something or you want to avo avoid some of these ingredients, uh, I will not recommend this, um, this product. Um, there is few things that they can be um, inflammatory so it might cause uh, gases, constipation, and uh, swollen parts uh, in your body. So just be careful how much you're eating. Uh, I bought this. Um, it tastes, I need to say, uh, it's, uh, it tastes like not like the real bread, but the, the feeling that you will have in your mouth, uh, it's exactly like uh, bread. Um, I mean, realistically, today we have so many breads and they don't uh, taste uh, the same. So this is also plus another one. So if you want to uh, try, I will say yes, but uh, don't eat uh, too much and try to combine with something that it will uh, be more fatty, like uh, avocado or make a guacamole or something um, with salmon. Yeah, so this is the blue bag and the purple bag, I, I, I said the company is the same, it's just the difference uh, between those two. This one is seeded bread. So it's um, dark bread. Uh, this one has two grams of uh, net carbs per slice, again, and it has the sign Keto Certified. Uh, in the back of the packaging, um, it says that we have Total carbs, eight grams, and dietary fiber, eight grams, which I think it's better because it's only eight grams of carbs. Again, the serving size is just one slice. So it doesn't matter which one you're gonna choose, this or this, be careful how much you are uh, eating. The ingredients are slightly different. So uh, this has wheat proteins, resistant potato starch, flex meal, bamboo fiber, high oleic sunflower oil, sesame seeds, yeast, psyllium. So this has yeast inside. Uh, psyllium husk, cultured wheat, starch, sunflower seeds, pea fiber, salt, citric acid, whole wheat flour, um, ascorbic acid. So this contains wheat, which automatically make uh, not gluten-free. So, and uh, inflammatory. So if you ask me, I will rather choose this than this, but still, they are very low in carbs. That's the whole point in, um, in keto, to, to do, uh, minimum as possible the carbs and as much as possible fat so again you can combine and do a good job um, with uh, combining this bread with something fatty um, both of them they came frozen so uh, that's a good thing because the amount that you need for one meal, it's very low. You can put uh, how you gonna get it uh, from, the, from the market, from the store. You can put in your freezer and it will last for a long period. Um, 
yes, I am uh, eating those, but I'm not eating them every day. Uh, remember that you can do like once in a week. That's what I will recommend. And the third one that I found for now, I'm sure there is uh, so many options, keto bread, but I'm not uh, aware of them. Those are also um, uh, frozen. The name is Unbuns. I don't know if you can see. So they're buns. They're not uh, sizes like that. Um, does has the sign keto certified. On the, um, on the front of the packaging, it says uh, five grams net carbs uh, and 10 grams uh, fiber. Uh, grain free, gluten free. Uh, let's see in the back, total carbohydrates, 15 gram, dietary fiber, 10 grams, which makes five grams net uh, carbs. This has sugar in it, two grams of sugar. So if you're a person that doesn't need sugar at all, uh, think about before you, you purchase this. Ingredients, water, a blanched almond flour, pumpkin seed protein, coconut flour, uh, psyllium seed husk, extra virgin olive oil, coconut milk, coconut water, ground chia, ground flax, baking soda, cream of tartar, uh, apple cider uh, vinegar, sea salt. Uh, if I will compare this to that, uh, I will rather go with this, even it has two grams of sugar, uh, just because the ingredients uh, in this are not inflammatory and they're more clean keto uh, ingredients. I just want to say that I'm very happy and I'm very glad that uh, many companies, they start to, to do keto things, especially these kind of things. Um, I know that for bread and, uh, um, and when it comes like to cakes or other things uh, like that, it's very hard to make a clean keto product. Uh, but as long as we have very low carbs and we can control that, how many carbs we are entering in our body, we are good. Because always the main meal, we can try to be fatty as much as possible. So we will, um, uh, we will do good uh, with the keto. So um, that's it for this uh, week. Uh, next week. I'll try to find another uh, product. I'm sure that uh, I will find uh, and I will present to you. If you are new here, uh, don't forget to subscribe below this video. And as always, thank you so much uh, for watching these videos. Um, don't forget if you like, thumbs like and can't wait to see you next Wednesday. Bye.